Anything that pertains to a wolf has always caught my attention, but I didn't realize that my understanding the wolf will lead to such a career for me. So. Like I said, every one of those dogs come here still remember me. I don't care if they leave here, and I don't see them for six, seven years, they never forget, you know, where we left off at. Call the names, but I was chose to train the president's explosive dog and a uh, uh, utility dog. Even though a police dog is a deterrent, you know, but I just didn't believe in a lot of bitings. And I must tell you, my real reason, again, not just the wolves, was, you know, just doing civil rights uh, in the 60s when they were using dogs the wrong way. I figured that, well, it's time that somebody just steps up and show them the proper way to using dogs. Real trainers come from the ones that have to get in, go in front of the AKC judges, the ones that go in front of the working dog judges, the ones that tell that trainer that, you're not doing it right, Mr. Durham, or you need to, work at it a little more. I want to do the things that most dogs can't do because if you don't earn what you give a dog, he doesn't give it back. They're smarter than we give them credit for. I had one of my shepherds, I'll never forget him. And he's laying there and one of the little dogs got up came over and just put his feet on his head, on my dog, my shepherd's head. Fortunately, it didn't interrupt any of the other dogs, but it came over there, little old dog, just put his feet on my shepherd, like, what are you, you know, it's. In the room, she just jumped up with a low head, didn't see nothing but teeth. You know, I call it the dander or the mane up. And she, so, she said, Mr. Darren, be careful, so. I have a little trick, so I pulled my little water gun out that she didn't see. And she's, all right, and I hit her in the eye with that water gun. <laughs> she jumped out the bed and ran past the lady out the room. <laughs> that was the end of that problem. <laughs>